morning. Welcome to the vlog. Um, we're on a big road trip today. Um, we are off to Norfolk um, to our boat. Um, I'm using the Bonnet app um, and I'm going to let Bonnet tell me which charges to use, which way to go. Um, I think in total it's 361 miles. Um, our first charger is 114 miles away and I believe it's at Wing Canton. Well, we're leaving with 100% charge, 136 miles uh, in the GOM and 114 miles to do. Now the reason for the 136 yes is because yesterday I was um, booked on uh, in work as a staff responder and I drove the car um, to the speed limit uh, in sports mode to get to my jobs. Um, so that's probably why my um, estimated range is worse than would be. Um, I, I've also, I have preconditioned the car, so I'm hoping that's helped a bit. Anyway, we'll be back um, when we are getting close to the first charger. So, um, 114 miles in our 360 mile journey. So a quick update, we're not actually at the charger. Um, we've done 87 miles, but the weather is absolutely horrific. It's, it's so windy that I can physically feel the car being pushed back. Um, and as such, we got to a point about four miles ago where we had 35 miles to do and 30 was it 33 or 34 yeah. miles of range and knowing that we were just about to go past a Instavolt charger literally into the Instavolt charger plug it in switch it on go and use the go and use the toilet um, get a coffee, come back, unplug it, and it's given us another twenty percent range. Uh, twenty, yeah, twenty, another twenty percent, and um, just brought our range back up, just so, just so that Lisa doesn't um, doesn't panic. So anyway, um, we're stuck behind a lorry now. Right, we've got 32, 26 miles to the actual charge we wanted, um, and we should get there with loads, so we'll be back then.
see about our first planned charging stop, um, which is at Wing Canton. Um, it's an Osprey, and again, using the Bonnet app, I'm getting the reduced cost charging. Um, I don't know if you've noticed that through recent videos, I've, I've really kind of sold the Bonnet app because I, I'm so happy with it. Um, that it balances out time and cost, and with the Premier subscription, you do get charging um, at, a, at a reduced cost. So, by the looks of it, this is in a, in a, in a state where there's um, some food outlets and a travel lodge or something like that, by the looks of it. So, anyway, this is just off of the A303 on the A371. Looking for some Osprey chargers, so um, keep your eye out. Wing Canton, I've never actually pulled off here. Loads and loads of times of being around here, but never actually pulled off into uh, Wing Canton. So, can you see the chargers? There's Instavolt. We don't want Instavolt, we want Osprey. So, Instavolt is expensive. So, I can see them. They're the blue ones. And they are the blue ones. And they're at a... Right next to the wagtail. Oh, look at that. There's loads of them. And there is a car pulling in there. To one. Marvellous. So we'll go here and we'll pull into one here. Marvellous, just what we need. No, we'll go to the other side, you've got plenty of space, haven't you? Um, well, the charge is this side. So dogs are a bit excited. Dogs are a tad excited, so here we go. Will the lead reach is the question. Oh, I see. I don't think it will. So, it might be. Let's just try. Let's see if it reaches. If it doesn't, then we'll have to move. Well, another problematic charge with um, some little monsters pushing the emergency stop button on the charger that I was using just seems typical that the other chargers seem to be having no problems but I think because I had to keep coming out to reset it um, they found that a tad amusing so just a bit annoying so we've got 81% in the GOM so we've got 81% charge 120 miles in the GOM and 90 miles to do to the next charger. Um, I'm afraid all of this just fuels Lisa's um, I don't say hatred, hatred is not the word, is it? But your um, help me out here. Oh, um, well, I think dislike is a strong enough word. Yeah, uh, of, electric vehicles which is a real shame because it's um, it is really annoying anyway um, my idea of travel is to get there leave your plate head house and get where you want to go so it doesn't necessarily have to be electric it could be any form of transport that keeps stopping yeah also I just think small battery car, we've had bad, well the weather's not brilliant, these are no excuses, this is just factual. It just seems every time we try and charge there's a problem, either it won't accept your card, or the charger's not working, or it's not on the network, and now the new one today, the emergency button keeps being pressed. Yeah, so, as you can see the lights were orange, they're meant to be red, but the lights were orange, where they kept pushing the emergency button, so... Um, shit. And my argument is, if you've charged, no point is, charge 
which takes quite a long time to go off and have a coffee, nice, relaxed, break up your journey. And then come back and find out that your car hasn't charged. It's not a nice, relaxed journey, is it? It should not be that easy to interfere with a car once it's been charged. Anyway, out of my control, nothing I can do. So, right. Let's, uh, let's get to the next one. So, an EV charger, which I think is rather apt. Um, we've been on here. 17 minutes um, and I had absolutely, unlike the last one, no issues getting this to charge. Literally plugged in, clicked the app um, and here we are. So we arrived with about 11%, uh, we're at 43% now and it's charging up 46 kilowatt, which is about normal for this car. So happy days. Um, 80, 82% I think it is to get to the next one so let's just crack on um, wait for this to charge so interestingly we were charging at 50.3 kilowatt and we've got 83% battery now normally at sort of 79% we're well 50.4 it's still climbing I'd expect it to be dropping off dropping back a bit but it's um, at this at this charging rate until it drops back to to, to like 25 kilowatt. Uh, I'm actually going to stay on here because it's uh, oh where we go 49. But um, we're still charging at a much higher rate than I expected. So we've uh, stopped to charge a car uh, at a place called the Wheat Chief in Sunningdale. Um, We've done uh, another 90 miles from where we stopped and had a few issues, but um, dead opposite, sorry about that, dead opposite is a BP station, uh, and no it's not, it's a Shell, uh, but look, uh, Shell recharge, one, two, three, four charges, uh, with a combined Chadamo and CCS. So if one's not working, then you got it the other side. And when we go back over, I shall show you the charges we're on. Right, 89%, we need 81 to get to where we need to. We're now down to 31 kilowatt. Um, this is the Wheat Sheaf pub. What I will say to you is factoring at least another three pound 60 for parking. Uh, the pub is currently closed and if you don't pay, they are automatic number plate recognition cameras, so you're going to get a ticket. So we're at 90%, that's more than enough for us. Let's stop the charge and unplug and get going. So we've just come past Virginia Waters. So uh, the wheat I don't have no idea. Um, so we're at the wheat, that was the wheat sheaf pub. Um, 90% battery, 204 miles down, we've got 150 miles in uh, GOM. Now, if that was a true 150 miles, we would make it to our boat and still have um, about four miles left. But I don't think that's a true, uh, I don't think we're going to make that. So we're now heading uh, back out towards the M25, Met Police. Yeah, good lads. <laughs> um, yeah, back out towards the M25, and uh, we've now got 105 miles to do. It's an hour and 58 minutes um, to our last and final charge, which will be the one that will give us sufficient to get to the boat. Right, back when we uh, we get to that charger. So we found the M25 deep joy um, we've done all of eight miles no more than that or ten miles and now we're on the M25 where it is down to 40 mile an hour so um, this could be pretty so slow going So it's half past five, um, we should have been at the boat 
by now and we are still 10 miles away from our third and final charge um, it's an accident I think it says 36 minutes to do 10 miles we've got 24 miles in the GOM 18.5% and we've done all by one mile 300 miles so we're 46 miles from the boat but we're now actually going to go direct to the restaurant where we're meeting the marina owner uh, purely because uh, if we don't we won't have time to go to the boat and get to the ho get to the um, restaurant so we're going to go straight to the restaurant and then go back to the boat this evening once we've finished the meal so right see when we get to the charger eventually to fight our way through the delay and um, the charger we want is actually in the Esso station over on the right so we're going to go all the way around and into the Esso station and there's loads of chargers available so we pick one furthest away so we're not sharing a get a faster charge at the speed so this used to when we had a when I was using our camper van this used to be where we stopped to um, fuel up the camper so okay come on watt color car charger would be great for us. We don't need any more than that. Let us get charging. Let's get reversed in and put on charge. instructions we are charging I didn't do them that first of all first of all I just plugged it in and it told me that um, there's some was already on it so here we go so 33 34 we're at nine percent battery I need to work out how long to get us to 38 minutes to 80 percent that should be more than sufficient to get us to what we want excellent right how are we doing um 73 percent 35 minutes we need to go so i'm going to stop the charge and then we get rolling very nice i like that we've we've charged and i don't actually know if we can go out this way i haven't got a clue i don't know if this is allowed or no I don't know if you can get in it or out. Says go this way, doesn't it? Always a travel would you? Oh. I don't know if you can get out. Can you get out this way? What do you reckon? I reckon we can. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Right. That wants us to go down the 1101 and might actually be the best bet. So we'll do that. Right, we're going to follow the 1101. Um, and we should arrive at seven minutes past and we need to be there at eight o'clock. Right, we're rolling. How do you, 
Have you messaged Liam? I have messaged our man. We have got 109 miles in the GOM, 73%. We've done 310 miles so far. We've got 61 miles to do. But I don't think you'll be seeing much now other than what the headlights are picking up. But we're actually in the village, village, village of Loddon, which is where the boat is. And um, we've done a total of 387 miles. Now we have been into Lowestoft, so we've probably done 40 miles more. Um, than we would have needed to but we have been out and had a meal so we're about a minute away from the boat uh, boat yard now so 387 miles in total we've got eight percent battery left and we've got 10 miles left in the gob we've charged three times yeah we've charged three times for a total of an hour and 45 minutes um, and I've spent about 42 pounds um, using the bonnet app a couple of issues initially with the bonnet app uh, the last one was completely down to me uh, plugging it in before you should do it uh, there is a charger on our right but I don't intend to use it anyway um, this has been a journey from Cornwall to Loddon uh, using the Bonnet app, which has worked fairly well. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the journey down, and um, we should do very similar on the way back. But this is our marina. If you've enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up. If you don't already, please subscribe. And above all, ring the bell for notifications. Uh, Lisa's sore throat is definitely doing the rounds. Right, we'll be back in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.